Hey, I'm Molly Goldham, organization expert, and today it's all about what's inside my backpack. In just a few weeks, I'll be attending the Disney Social Media Mom Celebration, and while we'll be spending time in sessions, we will also have family time in the park. So here are my tips for how you can build a better family backpack when you're out on an excursion, like attending a theme park. First, choose something that's comfortable with a padded strap, and we prefer one that goes across the front of you, just like this one does, and you'll be able to switch back and forth easily. It's not too big, and it's not too small. Second, make sure to add identification to it that includes your hotel information and your cell phone, and put something special on it that identifies that black pack, one of millions in the park that day, as unique to yours. Third, it's about what's easily accessible. What can, do you need to get your hands to in the middle of something? So in the front, right on my hip, is gonna be this pouch here that has my phone and my camera. Of course, my phone has a camera, but I might wanna use another camera. What's gonna be easily accessible on the back for anybody to get out? Go ahead and get that great little autograph book. And as well, you may have seen my post where I mentioned that we collect the press coins. And then along with those press coins, don't forget that you're gonna need the quarters and that extra penny for the 51 cents. So all of that goes right in there. Another great outside pack with really critical information is right over here. And in this pack is where we keep an extra pen. We've got a wireless charger and some of the most important information you can make sure to have on you, secure and not loose, is gonna be your park tickets and your hotel room tickets but don't forget to have your child ID information, including a fingerprint in case you need to identify them. Keep in mind that a great way to be able to quickly tell someone what your child is wearing is to take a daily picture before you leave the hotel. It's right there on your phone. Then we get into this wonderful section over here, which is where one of the great things about attending Walt Disney World and going into the parks is you are allowed to bring in your own water bottles and you're allowed to bring in snacks. So rather than have to buy these, start off each day with a fresh water bottle. You can refill them at water fountains, just have what you need and that way they're not heavy all day long like a reusable one might be. You wanna take snacks that won't melt, snacks that uh, your children will eat and that'll make it possible for you to just stay focused on eating the meals when it's time to eat a meal. And then of course, a quick grab for hand sanitizer. And then the final compartment, of course, is looking at all the wonderful things that we keep inside. And here's some of the things that, you know, really any mom is gonna think of. Plan for sunscreen, have a backup plan in case someone doesn't feel well, think tummy medicine, think aspirin, think band-aids, those kinds of things. Have a personal hygiene, set, we're thinking more sanitizer, more tissues, some wipes, and a shout or a Tide pen to take out a stain. An umbrella, God forbid, but it is Florida and it rains regularly. Ponchos for everyone. And extra bags just in case something gets wet. You can also keep inside here, I have a wet, I have one labeled wet and I have one labeled dry. The dry one can be where you put an extra outfit for children who are young enough that might need to change their clothes if they have an accident or if somebody really just doesn't like getting wet on Splash Mountain. And then the final little extra thing to throw in might be a reusable bag that you can, in case you gather up a lot of things and you want to have a better way to carry them, it's an extra bag right there. So these are just a few of the things that I've got inside my bag for Walt Disney World. You can see how it just goes on right like that. Doesn't matter who's carrying it, my husband or myself, I'm hands free and my kids can get to what they need just like I can. So those are my tips for how to build a better backpack when you're traveling to a theme park, and I'd love to know, what do you put in your backpack when you go to Walt Disney World? We'll see you next time.